What is better? Is it a moss pole or cedar plank? You see all these roots? Having them outside is Oh my God. If you ever thought or had this debate, let's be honest, you've watched thousands of YouTube videos of moss poles and of cedar planks. I did the same thing. So at the end of this video, you will have a clear decision on what is best for you because let's be honest, no one's talking about this. Every situation is different. Every plant is different. Every surrounding is different. But I'm gonna solve all that for you today in this video. But first, let me show you my resume. First up, we have a Monstera Albo on a moss pole. We have a Jose Bueno on a moss pole. Now let's talk planks. I have a pink princess on a cedar plank. I have a double pothos on a cedar plank. But let's move outdoors. I have a large form Monstera. Yes, she's shiny. And she's on a cedar plank outdoors. Yes, she's firmly planked up. And I have small form Monsteras planked up outside thriving like no other but yes i have some experience with both but now i want to go over the benefits of cedar planking and the benefits of moss pulling number one they are great with support so as you see for example the leaves are supported i just use some planters tape and they can easily grow up so they both are great with support and we're going to put this Thai constellation, oh yes, on a moss pole. Yes, I know. Oh my God, Jason, they're crawlers. I know. Oh my God, Jason, you don't need it. I know. I am personally still going to decide to put it on a moss pole because of this. You see all these roots just developing and growing? The root development is crazy in this moss pole. So if you're looking to propagate, if you're looking to cut, chop and prop, as some people will say, maybe chop and prop and kind of grow them other places around your house or outside, like I plan to, this is why the moss pole is a better option. But it does require a lot of maintenance. I'm gonna be honest. I have to keep this moss pole kind of moist. You know, I've tried the water bottle option. I've tried to, you know, try these other little trinkets. I'm just be honest, I just watered every other day. So there is a lot more maintenance having a moss pole versus having a cedar plank. There is no maintenance. All I simply do is just prop the plant on it and that's it. Water the plant when it's time and leave it alone. And with this low maintenance, having them outside is no problem. Why? I don't have to do anything. All I do is stake them to the plants and watch them thrive. And these monsters are killing it. So number one, location is key. Where are you gonna have your plant? Is it gonna be indoors? Is it gonna be outdoors? So if you plan on having your plant outside 1,000% cedar plank. There is no question about that. Zero questions at all. Why? Maintenance. But if you plan on having them indoors, it's kind of a toss up. Are you looking to chop and prop this plant? Moss pole. Are you just looking for stability and, and support? Cedar plank. You see how it's, it's not just one straight answer? Yes, we can talk about facts, but what about preference? What do you prefer? That's why I prefer to moss pole this Thai constellation up and you guys are joining with me. So step one, we gotta get our moss pole ready. And I'm gonna go over some facts that, you know, I kinda learned to, number one, like I'm not gonna fill this moss pole up entirely, I'm not. I'm only gonna start filling it along with the plant growth. Why? I don't need to have this moss pole that's not being used and I gotta keep rewatering it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, as we evolve, like we're evolving together, we learn, we make adjustments. And when I learn something, I'm gonna tell you so you don't make that same mistake. So this might be your first time using a moss pole. Here's step one. You know, and I got this off of Amazon, nothing crazy. Step one is you wanna fold it. So they come rolled up. You wanna fold the edges so it's easier to work with. So as you see, I'm just folding the crease along the middle, down the line, so that, you know, it's easier. Step one, fold the crease. And you see this little, it's kind of broke right here, but it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be covered up. Don't sweat it. Step two, get you some sphagnum moss. And you want to soak it first. So soak your sphagnum moss before you use it. And it kind of gets everywhere, so that's why I put it in my sink. 
Was this a great idea? I don't think so. But hey, this is what we're working with. And I'm gonna literally run the water over it. Give it a good soak. And the reason why we're soaking it too, it's easier to work with. If you try to work with this when it's not wet, oh my gosh, it is like, try to braid hay. You know the hay that cows eat and, and other farm animals eat? It's like trying to braid that. So when you soak it, it's so much easier to work with. You see, now I can grab it easier. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. So literally just soaking it. I'm gonna squeeze this out also, but I just wanna make sure it's soaked. Now let's take our sphagnum moss that we recently moistened and our moss pole that we are going to put the sphagnum moss in and start this process. Here's another tip. Step one, you're gonna take some chunky soil and if you guys want the recipe this chunky soil mix, it's on my last video. We're gonna put this chunky soil at the bottom of the moss pole. This is gonna be the area where that's gonna be in the dirt of our, of our plant. So we're gonna start with putting the chunky soil mix right here. And we're not gonna need a lot. Just around this much. Like I said, this is gonna be the area that's gonna be in our pot. That's it. Now I'm gonna take some sphagnum moss and start this process of packing almost like a burrito. We're just gonna pack it up, but we're not going the whole way. Remember, like I said, we're not going the whole way. We're only gonna start it at the bottom because just for maintenance, making make things a lot easier. We wanna make things so much easier that we don't have to, you know, moss pole the entire pole because our plant is not there yet. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna do a little bit. Well, I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna stop right here. And that's it. And now it's all packed up and it's time to close it. So you wanna be sure it's flush. So when you're packing your moss pole, you wanna make sure it's flushly mounted, not the opposite, not this way, this way. So tuck it in nice, be sure it's flushly mounted. Okay, now you see these three are fleshly mounted in. I'm gonna do the rest. The plant is about right here. As it grows, I'm gonna fill this in, but it's really no need to fill this in right now. So this is perfect. Okay, now we need to take our Thai constellation and honestly make some space right here because we're gonna be putting the moss pole. So this is, and this I can tell this is the back. See the arrow root? So this is the back. We just need to make some space, so I'm gonna start digging. I'm gonna be cautious on not to damage the roots, but we gotta fit this moss pole in here, so I'm gonna dig some space. Let me measure it. Yeah. See how that did? See how that works? That's perfect. Perfecto. So I want to give you a better angle of digging out just enough so this will fit in here. But another thing also is I like to use a zip tie to secure the moss pole to the pot because I hate a moss pole that's not attached. It might just be a me thing, but I'm going to zip tie this to the pot so that it's secure now. But I want to show you guys how deep I dug to fit this moss pole in here. Okay, so this is a two zip tie project. And you see I brought the zip tie through the moss pole, one of them through it and the other one's connecting here, if you can see. And I brought it out of the pot. Now I'm simply just gonna connect these two and I have a secure moss pole. This is what I love. I'm grabbing the moss pole and the entire pot picks up. That's called secure. And I'm gonna cut this off. But you see how now I'm gonna just take some plant tape, stick it right here, and you see the area roots will align perfectly. I literally have a new bud coming out right here. You see right here, and guess what? It has all this moss pulled to soak in. And now, you see as I pull it closer, all in the moss pole, that's gonna promote these area roots to go crazy. 
Now let me secure this back. And now for the final product. Oh my God, he put a Thai constellation on a moss pole? Oh no! So the real answer is, it depends on your situation. Are you planning to plant outside? Cedar plant 1000%. Are you planning to plant inside and you want to chop and prop? Moss pull all the way. How are you with maintenance? Are you really up for the upkeep of a moss pole? If the answer is yes, you have no problem, moss pull it. If you're like, uh, I don't want to have that much upkeep, the maintenance, cedar plank. You see how every situation is different? So there's not one right answer. So I definitely hope this helped you guys to answer, should I moss pole? Should I cedar plank? So my name is Jason. I hope this video helped you. If you like my content, go be sure to watch my other videos because I'm dropping all the heat. I'm dropping all the tips for plants. And look, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your auntie, tell your uncle, because everybody needs help with plants. But until next time, peace.